So in this video, I'll be showing you, I'll be doing tutorials, would you say, on the Mavin app. Now the Mavin app, I purchased uh, back in March, um, and I've been trying it out pretty good, I must say. So I'll be doing tutorials on the Mavin app, like I did with the Litchi app. Um, now what I will say is, obviously things can change all the time, so it's always worth checking out for any updates on the Mavin app. Um, now at the moment, iOS has got more modes than if you're using an Android device, but I'll only be talking about this on the iOS, because that's what I purchased. Um, there's quite a lot of modes, so there's going to be quite a few tutorials on, on this app, <laughs> but I thought the very first one we need to understand first is about what's on that home screen. So, should we get straight into it? Oh yeah, I'll be using my DJI Mini 2, and obviously my controller will be the uh, DJI RC M1. What I've done, I've got rid of my iPad tablet now because I was having problems with it when I was doing the screen saves and I thought I won't be using the tablet when I'm flying this drone. So I thought what I'll do, I'm using my iPhone Mini 12 so what you're going to see is what I'll actually be using when I'm flying the Mini 2. So what you see at the moment on the screen is a couple of things. One of the main things in the middle of the propeller is because at the moment the drone's not connected. The controller's not on, nor is the Mini 2 on. But I thought what I'll do first, I'll just go around on the screen itself, what you're going to see. So the geo fence. Um, now guys, this... I think it's a big bonus for the Mavin because especially if you was a learner and you just didn't want to go out of your distance, this geo fence, if you set the distance and height, you will not go any further or any higher than what you sent, you, what you set it. Anyway, that will be coming uh, on a further video. So anyway, we come out of that. We've got waypoints. Obviously, we know about waypoints. They're very similar to um, the Litchi app. Uh, like I said, all these I'll be doing future tutorial videos on this to so come out of that. The flight logs, this is something else. Um, you can see there already, I've got some flight logs there on already. Uh, I'll be explaining that in another video as well. And obviously a pretty important one is the user manual. So you've got some tutorials there already. So in case you want to have a look at it. And right at the bottom, you've got all the different languages. So that's pretty good. So we come out of that now. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn on the controller and the Mini 2. So turn it on the controller. Now what's going to probably happen, guys, is as always, when you turn on your controller and drone, you're probably going to go straight into your DJI app. So don't worry too much about that. Come straight out of that. Go back into the Mavin app. Now they're saying it's been connected up. So there it is. There's the Mini 2. Now... I, I wonder if it would be helpful to actually tell you what type of drone you're using. I know you've got the Mavic Mini, you've got the Mini 2 SE, you've got the Mini 2. I know it all uses the same software, but I'd, anyway, that's just something I, I thought maybe might confuse some people. But anyway, you tap on that to start. And what we're going to get straight away is the home screen. And I'm going to go around the home screen explaining what things are. So the very top left-hand corner, you've got the white arrow. Now all that is, it just takes you back to what we was on previously. That's all it says. So pretty helpful to know what it's for. And then you can see already, you've got ready to go, ready to go GPS, which is good to see. So it's really all ready to take off. I won't take off just at the moment. Now it might say, it might be in red, uh, it's not connected. So that gives you an idea. Now just underneath ready to go, you can see the green line. That's going to be your power. Now, when the drone's in the air, it will actually tell you how many minutes left you've got. So, another good thing. The middle is your settings. Now, the settings will differ between your Android or your ISO. Now, I'll be using my ISO and everything. And if you just go through the settings, if you notice on my um, charge device with the RC, I've got my distance and altitude in feet. I've got the speed in miles per hour. Uh, and obviously the most important one is gimbal. Um, 
obviously if you want to be flying like a, a racing drone you would have it in FPV but for normal flying you have it in follow now the settings I always say it's up to you guys how you want your settings I think if you follow other people you, you're gonna have problems so do the settings how you feel you're best with and I don't tend to change any settings to be honest pilot mode I've got a number two uh, the video dimensions I've got fit content grid you can have the grid on if you want I don't tend to use that but a lot of people do uh, user location home point obviously have that on and obviously location point of interest now obviously when you're doing some of the modes especially point of interest you've got to have it on anyway so I put mine on and we've got automatic update now good idea so when you're moving about it, it will follow you now I'm every 25 meters or 82 feet you can have it longer if you notice I'm, I'm quite happy with 82 feet then right at the bottom the blue sort of band there you've got your checklist and the checklist is everything else you've got um, maximum flight distance all these sort of things compass um, do you need to calibrate it you can calibrate your compass you can calibrate your remote control mode um, you've got your battery count your vision sensors normal all those sort of things uh, aircraft battery temperature and obviously right at the bottom your card your SD card next to that is settings in your settings we've just we've just gone through that virtually that's just what we just saw uh, on the home screen itself and then we got the VR now <laughs> To be honest, guys, this is something that I probably won't be covering in my tutorials. I'm not really into head tracking and those sort of things. But it's all there if you want it. And there's plenty of videos out there if you want to watch it. And then we've got Return to Home. Now, I've just got it on Return to Home. And obviously, you can set the height there. Uh, you can have it on hover, landing. These are your, your preference only. Well, follow me. And then we've got Limits. And limits is uh, your distance, your altitude. Like I said before, it's up to you how you want that to be set. So you've got the white arrow, go back into the screen again. And now we've got the three dots. So the three dots. Now this is going to show your modes. Uh, so you, as you can, the first one's full screen, which is that one. You just tap the screen again. You're back in, back into the three dots. You've got your VR. Uh, and if you want to do that and then right at the top you see a little red cross you just tap on that red cross uh, you've got your waypoints uh, which we've seen already uh, back to your dots again you've got the geo fence which we saw right on the front home page I would even say your three dots again we've got the co-pilot now the co-pilot is you and then we've got the course lock and we just press those three there we've got the course lock okay you come back out of that what we do you just press that that white arrow to take you back out of it again home point's been updated and then we've got home lock and if you just press that little red square that you can see on the right side there just do that right top right corner is your camera so you can either have it as you've seen already you've got at the moment it's on video if I turn it over to photo so if we keep it on photo for the moment we go down to the settings and you've got all the settings there now I don't mess about with any of these sort of things you can't obviously go into manual and you can do all the magic stuff that you want to do uh, we come back out of that we go back into video same sort of thing um, yeah it's just it's just self-explanatory really uh, and then we can just click back on top there I'll just leave it off for the moment right left bottom corner so what we got now we've got at the top miles per hour the next one is altitude the height and the next one is the distance so we got in we've got takeoff I will show that in a moment I just want to get on with the other things as well uh, we've got the remote control we've got the signals sorry <laughs> let's get this right so the ver the first one which has got like a red cross for it is the signal strength we then got the um, map button which is this one here just press it up there's your map now 
I never use <laughs> Apple Maps, but apparently you've got Apple Maps. So I don't know if you can change that to Google Maps. I've always used Google Maps. So we just tap that again, that goes to the map. You can see uh, the, the radio controls there. Right, now you've got all the, the little green boxes there. Now the first one is satellites. So we've got 19 satellites. We then we've got the power of the battery, 50%. We then got um, the controller, which is at 68%. We then got the device itself. Uh, this is my phone, which is at 54%. And last of all, the GPS. Now, if that goes red, that means you've got very weak signal. So, what we're going to do next, we're going to take the drone off, give you an idea. So the auto takeoff button is back to the left hand side at the bottom there. You've got it there, ensure that the conditions are safe for takeoff and goes up to about four foot. So you okay it. So the drone's taken off, hovering at four foot. Lovely, even though we've got a bit of wind today. And if I want to bring it down, I'll just press it again to land okay. And if you notice at the top also, uh, which was the return to home, I'll just do it again. So we've landed, I'll do all to take off again. So at the top, if you notice next to the settings, you see home, return to home, home point. This is return to home and land. So I'll just press that. It's just, it's just landing where it, took off and return to home. And that's it. That's all you need to know on your home screen. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found that interesting. If you did, give it the thumbs up. If you didn't, give it the thumbs down. So the next one we'll be doing will be the follow me mode on the Mavin app. Thank you.